Here's an example. We're given a system of equations and we're told to solve it using the substitution method. And here's how the substitution method works. We take one equation and we solve it for one of the variables. And it doesn't matter which equation we use. I could solve the first equation for y, or I could solve the second equation for y, and it doesn't matter which variable we use. We could solve them for x if we want to, but it looks like this first equation will be pretty easy to solve for y. So I'm going to solve the first equation for y. So I have 2x plus y equals negative 5. I just subtract 2x from each side and I end up with y equals negative 2x minus 5. And then I substitute. And this is why this method is called the substitution method. I take this equation for y and I substitute it into the other equation. So I'm going to substitute it in for y right there. So I'll write the second equation, negative x plus 3y equals 6, but this is going to go in for y right there. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, but instead of y, I'm going to write that. So I have negative x plus 3 times negative 2x minus 5 equals 6. And now you can see what has happened. I now have an equation with no y in it. That substitution has eliminated a variable. And so now I have an equation with one variable and I can solve this. Let's start by distributing this 3. So I have negative x plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6x and then 3 times minus 5 is minus 15 equals 6. Now I can combine like terms, the negative x and the negative 6x, combine to give me a negative 7x. And then if I, if I add 15 to each side, that 15 ends up going away on the left and moving over to the right side and I get 21. So negative 7x equals 21. And then divide each side by negative 7 and I get x equals negative 3. So I have an answer here, x equals negative 3. And it feels like I'm done because I just solved this equation here and got an answer. But I'm not done. I have to find numbers for x and y that satisfy the system. So once I know the value for x, then I can plug it back in and find y. And I can plug it back into this equation or to this one. Or I can just look right here. Look at this line that I've written. y equals negative 2x minus 5. It's going to be very easy to plug the value for x in right there. I'm just going to take the number negative 3 and put it in right there. So I'll come over here where I have a little more room. I know that y equals negative 2x and x is negative 3 minus 5 and that will give me my answer. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. 6 minus 5 so I have 1. y equals 1. That's the solution to the system x is negative 3 and y is negative 1. And you can write your answers like that, indicating the two answers, or you could write it as an ordered pair. x is negative 3, y is 1. That would be acceptable too.